Hello Leo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are your um, energies between, what are the energies between you? How do you feel about each other? What do you need to know about what each other is thinking or feeling? All right, so let's jump right in for Leo. For Leo, what does Leo need to know, Spirit? regarding love regarding this person they're thinking about or connecting with at this time what does leo need to know hmm i'm getting a very like quiet energy i'm not hearing anything if that makes sense it feels very quiet um so this is going to be interesting let's see what we get for you leo what is going on in this connection between Leo and this other person, Spirit? What are the mutual energies between Leo and this other person? Eight of Wands. What are the mutual energies between Leo and this other person? Mutual energies. Queen of Cups. One more. Future. Mutual energies. Mutual energies. What's going on between Leo and this person? Death. Scorpio energy. I feel like maybe this is a situation where there wasn't a lot of communication or action being taken. And now that's changing because something is ending or transforming here with death. Let's see. Tell me about. OK, there you are, Leo. Strength. Tell me about death. Why is death here? Knight of Swords, yes, and then the Four of Wands. I feel like there's some sort of change happening here in the form of like communication. Like it's different that there's communication, if that makes sense. Or you're getting communication from a specific like Scorpio energy or someone like that, or maybe another Leo. But I think this is gonna make you happy or like someone's gonna be happy with this, with the Four of Wands or this will bring some sort of harmony. Tell me about the Eight of Wands and Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here with the Eight of Wands? The Devil, Capricorn Energy, and then the Fool. When I see the Fool with the Devil, I instantly think freedom. Someone could be free of something, out of something, no longer restricted by something. Seven of Swords, oh my goodness. Seven of Swords with the Devil and the Fool came out before that. Someone could be like making an escape or it could be that someone made a, a mistake and wants to talk to you about it. We'll see. We'll see when, what else we get when we keep clarifying here. Tell me more about this connection, about the energy between Leo and this other person. What do we need to know about what's happening here? Lasting promise, commitment, longevity, future. Okay, someone could be proposing to you, making you a promise, wrong deck. Um, there could be a marriage that exists or a possibility of marriage here. Four of Wands is definitely a marriage card. But I feel like whoever this is, I'm speaking to a Leo where silence is a common theme or was it is a theme here because uh, I feel like this eight of wands is happening this communication is happening out of the blue or after silence if that makes sense tell me more for Leo what's going on in this connection that we need to know about something there there may be something there that wasn't there before new love realizations second chances this is from my Ever After deck. Um, I am going to be using my Oracle decks in this reading. So if you're curious, they will be linked down below. All right, what else? What else is going on for Leo? Kiss the girl. I don't take a word, not a single word. Go on and kiss the girl. First move, courage, hidden feelings. Yes, I feel like someone's realizing how they feel about you, Leo. Maybe they're uncovering hidden feelings or having realizations about your connection. There may be something there that wasn't there before. New love. This could also be that someone's like a friend and they don't realize they have feelings for you, but then they, you know, make them first move with kiss the girl. Someone's thinking about making a first move. 
bottom of the deck is mermaid rebirth transformation renewal yeah there's something changing for you and love or changing in this connection like things are not going to be the same or remain the same here tell me about strength i'm just curious before i jump into your energy tell me about strength why is strength here why is strength here four of cups hmm someone could be afraid of rejection or just isn't happy you're not happy or they're not happy without you or they're not happy in their life four of cups is like being uninterested in anything you're just not you're checked out all right so now i'm curious now i gotta look at both of your energies i'm gonna um put your energy on the left and their your person's energy on the right if i could talk and feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you because the energy can be fluid so let's start with you leo spirit what can you tell me about leo when it comes to this person this connection what do we need to know for about leo king of wands aries leo sagittarius what do we need to know about leo when it comes to this person this connection two of cups okay so there's attraction there's um there's a strong connection here five of wands in the midst of chaos <laughs> okay um the emperors at the bottom of the jet aries energy tell me about this five of wands why is this five of wands here the high priestess i'm getting with the high priestess and the five of wands i'm getting like silence is a, is a problem secrets are a problem hidden energy is an issue here i don't know what what this means though it's going to be different for all of you maybe this person kept something from you or they're hiding their feelings for you so that means that this issue between you can't be resolved or there's uh, no communication someone's keeping things very close to their chest or you know like they're 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 being very guarded with their feelings and so something can't be resolved i see all of that here but you're into this person i feel like you're attracted to them there's attraction here and the six of wands at the bottom of the deck tells me you want to resolve whatever issue exists. You want to fix whatever the issue is. Okay, let's get some PSI love use for you. Tell me more for Leo. Ah. What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? Tell me about Leo. What are Leo's energies in this connection? What are Leo's energies? Destiny will help us find each other. What are Leo's energies in this connection? I pretend that I'm okay, but inside I am hurting. Regretting the past. Leo, you're wondering if someone is truly happy or you yourself are putting on a mask destiny will help us find each other i i feel like you want to i don't know it's almost like i feel like you're hoping that there's a reunion here tell me about this person aries is dealing with or thinking about what are their energies towards did i say aries I mean Leo if I said Aries. I swear, Aries and Leo, you guys, well, it's mostly in Leo readings. I always say Aries. And then in Aries readings, sometimes I'll say Leo. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you're dealing with an Aries. Because I know that there's a group of you that watch me that are definitely dealing with an Aries because I've, I've seen the comments. Okay, tell me about what this person is thinking about or feeling when it comes to Leo. What are they thinking about or feeling when it comes to Leo? Six of Wands, okay. What are they thinking about or feeling? What are their energies towards Leo? Oh, okay. The Fool again. 
Page of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like they want to take a risk here, have a new beginning with you, have a new start. Baby steps is what I heard. Ace of Swords, yes. Communication is very important here. Someone has to talk, but the Nine of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Maybe they're just terrified. Terrified of speaking up. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. What do they want to say? What's this Ace of Swords about? Why is the Ace of Swords here? The Lovers. Gemini energy. You are my person. You are my partner. You are the person I want to be with. The person I see myself with. Maybe this person also has to follow their heart. Because the, the Lovers is really a card about choice. A choice between what your heart is telling you and what your logic, your mind is telling you. Ace of Wands. I feel like this person wants a new beginning with you. And I think it's going to start with communication or they're going to tell you this. I feel like it, for them it's a risk with the Fool. But I think that they're hoping for success, victory with the Six of Wands. It's like... I know this is a risk, but I'm hoping that this works out. That Leo will give me a chance. They're going to be very honest with you. Queen of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person will be honest about their intentions, honest with you about how they feel. I feel like this is them kind of opening up a little bit. And I that does remind me of the Aries reading. So if you are dealing with an Aries, you should check out that reading. Tell me what this person is thinking or feeling when it comes to Leo. What are they thinking or feeling, Spirit, when it comes to Leo? I never meant to hurt you. Okay. What are they thinking, feeling when it comes to Leo? Regretting the past again. So they never meant to hurt you. They feel bad about what happened. Very simple, clean, clear energy. I think this person probably did something to push you away. This could have happened in the distant past because sometimes when I get like that quiet energy that I got at the beginning of this reading, it's like a lot of time has passed. You know, it's like tumbleweeds. There's not nothing happening. It hasn't happened for a while. <laughs> What's at the bottom of the deck? I compare everyone I meet to you. Interesting. And what's behind that? I should have told you how I felt when I had the chance. I feel like this person has regrets over what they haven't told you. Not only do they have regrets over the fact that they might have hurt you, but I feel like they also have regrets over the fact that they haven't spoken up sooner. Or they didn't speak up sooner about whatever it is that they're feeling now. Now tell me about the Seven of Swords and the Devil. Because I just want to clarify this real quick. Why is the Devil here with the Seven of Swords? Spirit, why is the Devil here with the Seven of Swords? Okay, some of you are dealing with someone married. King of Pentacles, there's the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are dealing with someone that's married or you're married. Let me know if that's you in the comments. I'd love to know. Could be also someone that you're dealing with that has responsibilities. Maybe they're not married, but they have responsibilities to a family or responsibilities in a career or something. This person should not be talking to you is what I'm getting here. Like this is not good. They should not be reaching out or talking to you, but I feel like they are going to. Knight of Swords is here. Ace of Swords is here. I feel like they, they, they are regretting so many things right now that it might push them to actually do what they shouldn't be doing, which is talking to you. So expect a message from this person. I do feel that. I feel like this is someone that's willing to actually take the risk because the fool is here and the fool showed up before. I think this is someone that will risk communicating with you when they shouldn't be talking to you. That's what I'm getting here. So I'm going to leave it there, Leo. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for checking out this You and Them reading. Um, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And hopefully I'll see you in another reading very, very soon. Take care.